Hi Scorpios, welcome to my channel, Bino Moonshot Tarot, and Becky and I'm here to do your general reading for the first half of June 2019. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising Scorpios. Alright, so before I get started, just a little astrology update that I know of. And what I follow is the moon. All right, so we have a new moon coming in June 2nd or 3rd, depending on where you are. All right, so this is a new moon, which means new intentions, new phases and stations in our lives. So making those wishes, what are your wishes for this cycle, this new cycle that's coming into your life? All right, so looking at what happened last cycle and you know, we had that Scorpio full moon that happened, and that was a really intense one for a lot of people, especially for Scorpios. And it was, um, it was needing to release some things, needing to go ahead and surface those deep things. And like I said in my Scorpio video for May, um, it was a really intense one. It was cracking our shells open, and. Um, is the rebirthing process, right? So new moon, new stages and phases in our lives. So the first card we have out is the five of cups. Okay. Followed by the seven of cups. Okay. And then we have the three of pentacles. No bad. Underneath the five of cups, we have the page, or the knight of pentacles, I'm sorry. We have the Four of Wands, okay, and then we have the Tower, all right, our own Scorpio energy, bottom of the deck and the overall energy is Judgment, all right, so you could be dealing with another Scorpio um, or a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, but this is a sign of Virgo, if we're going to be specific, all right. Excuse me. All right. So bottom of the deck in the overall energy is a decision needs to be made. Something is going to resurrect itself and is asking you to use good judgment. You need to decide if this is something that you want or something that you don't want. So there's a second chance to do something and to do it right. Okay. So five of cups, seven of cups, three of pentacles. All right, for some of you that are in third party situations, you're going through some emotional struggles and confusions. What is it in regards to? It's in regards to this relationship, all right? Five to seven equals that two of cups, all right? So there's a struggle here. It's like, I don't know what's going on, Becky. I mean, are we together? Are we not? Do I still feel the same way for this person? Do they, do they still feel the same way for me? You know, that that's what that conversation is in your heart. Because, again, it's a rebirth, all right? This is resurrecting from the dead, all right? This is also a card of reconciliation, all right? So, again, what was I saying? We were resurrected from the dead we came back from the pits of hell and we came and we're coming in to be born again and then to rise as a phoenix but remember every time that you know because of this process now we're going through that rebirthing so this is going to be in a sense something that's going to be happening all right so three of pentacles at the end it could also be like working things out Building that solid foundation, having that conversation, okay, how can we build this together, okay? So, Knight of Pentacles, Four of Wands, and the Tower. Alright, so it's like slowly but surely, things are going to be coming in. Slowly but surely, we're getting there. Alright, so... <clears throat> You know, like, what was I saying always, always, always? When you have a house built, you want it to be built right. You don't want it to be built fast because that sucker will come down fast. So in a relationship, you want it to be built right. You want it to be built with what? A solid foundation. It's that conversation about having that solid foundation. This is taking those steps uh, and plans, making plans in regards to building that solid foundation. This is also slowly going towards that commitment, that ascension of relationship, okay? 
So you are going to get the commitment, but it's coming at a slow pace. Um, but with the thing is, with the tower here, there's something that happens. What does it mean? It's a surprise. You are going to get a surprise ending because this is the last card in this spread right here. So it's a surprise ending. What do I mean by that? All right. So relationship, boom, out of nowhere, out of nowhere. So you thought that it was coming in slow. You're like, all right, these are my expectations. It's been a struggle because it's been so slow. All right. I'm confused about this relationship. But out of nowhere, there's going to be a conversation going on in regards to building this foundation. But it has to break down first. All right? Breaking down the old structure to build a new structure. Okay? But again, things coming in quickly, abruptly, out of left field, out of right field, out of some kind of field that you don't even know, that you weren't even looking at. Okay? Because that's why I say it. This is my wake up, shake up, break up. All right? What you're breaking up is this. All right? This is what you're breaking up. You're breaking up these feelings. You're breaking breaking down this, this struggle. You're breaking down these confusions, these options. All right? Shake up, you know, again, you just don't know when it, what what's going to happen. Um and wake up. Hey, how you doing? I want to be in a relationship with you. What? <laughs> yeah. Reconciliation. Rebirth. Alright, love bugs. Moving on, moving forward. Alrighty. Let me get my little magnifier to where I need it to be. So the first card we have out here. Everybody's getting this. Ten of Swords, right? Awesome. Then we have <laughs> the High Priestess. And then lastly, I don't even need a magnifier for this one. Six of Cups. Oh, love it. Love it for you guys. Love it for me too. <laughs> King of coins bottom of the deck so you can be dealing with an earth sign i believe this one's capricorn yeah but if it's an earth sign it's um capricorn virgo taurus um and because we are doing the scorpio video that would be cool if it was taurus because then we're talking about one and seven house of self house of relationships okay anywho here we go. So, Ten of Swords, this is done and over with. Honestly, this is done and over with. The emotional struggles and slow moving pacing is done. It's like you needing to accept that the emotion stru emotional struggle was real. The emotional struggle was real. Okay? And this slow moving thing was real. Okay? And it's done and over with. Why do I say that? Because the swords are in his back. Alright? There's all the deception, the betrayal, the hurt, the anxiety, the worries, all that crap. Done. Why? Because we're entering into the new moon. We're entering into a new cycle and stage and phase in our life. So we're needing to look at the horizon. Look how beautiful the horizon is in the background. Alright? In the right way, you don't see that horizon. You do see a horizon, but it's all covered in black. But look at the colors in this one. It's like, remember, sometimes darkness can show you the light. Right? That was from Disturbed, and it's called The Light. If you guys want to listen to that song, it's an awesome song. All right, so we have the High Priestess clarifying this Seven of Cups and Four of Wands. All right? So if you're confused, have confusion, illusions, discombobulated, worries, doubts, it's like, I don't know, I'm lost. You're not lost. Why? Because the High Priestess is here. High Priestess is somebody who knows. This is your intuition. You secretly know 
you secretly know if you clear your head out of all those thoughts and clear your heart get grounded heart center all right get grounded heart center then you can actually tune into your intuition you can listen to your gut feeling you can listen to the things that you know and the funny thing for me as a Scorpio Sun in Vedic and Scorpio in Venus in Western it's like in the beginning of a phase or stage I will already know what's gonna happen and then as I go through that phase or stage when the struggle is real I get confused but all in all I already knew I already knew the answer okay so three of Pentacles the tower all right six of cups so somebody's coming back to you or you're coming back to somebody but whatever it is this is coming back quickly all right coming back quickly to what to build a relationship to build that solid foundation to have that conversation all right in regards to building that foundation all righty so judgment king of coins king of coins is like now is time now is time to be grounded now it's time to be that person that brings things into the physical that doesn't need anybody's affirmation or validation of their own feelings to to manifest create and to have what they want all right scorpio that that's our that's kind of our our dealio right we feel like we need somebody to validate us our emotions our feelings um in Vedic sidereal, my North Node or my Rahu is in Taurus and my um, Kitu is in um, Scorpio. All right. So in that sense, it's like now I'm needing to be this. Be, be very grounded, not have to uh, rely or depend on people to tell me that I'm worthy and giving me validation for that because... I need to know myself. I need to ground myself. This is what I'm telling you. You need to ground yourself and validate your own dang self, okay? And if not, this is a second chance with somebody that has earth in their chart or that does, um, is this, right? Okay, so let's move on to the oracles. If I can um, see, there we go. That sun is in my eyeball, <laughs> my only eyeball. All right, so we're gonna we got one interesting how that came out. And I will read it as such. That's too many guys. Too many. One more for Scorpio, please. One more for Scorpio. There we go. All right, Scorps. First one we have is man holding a coin. Now, on the upright, this is in regards to finances. This is in regards to something that is valuable. And the reverse, this means the total opposite of what I just said. Now, the funny thing is it came out this way. So, there's a 50-50 here, all right? So again, like I'm feeling this energy, the man holding a coin. All right. So this is a new job opportunity. Or again, what was I saying about value, self worth, and self value? Need to affirm that for yourself. Needing to, boom, ground yourself. Okay. Now because it was this way, it can go either way, up or down. It's up to you. Okay. And then the last card we have out came up right patience so needing to have patience you guys are practicing patience because again you guys have this feeling i got a feeling that tonight's gonna be a good night 
you already know. You already know, boo-boo, what you know. You already know that you're gonna get this. Take off them rose-colored glasses. Take off those confusing goggles. Boom, listen to your intuition because your intuition is telling you what. This is what you're gonna get, okay? All right, Scorpios, I'm so happy for you. I hope that this message resonated, and if it did, please hit that thumbs up, like, share, subscribe, comment down below. If it did not, check out that description box and check out, uh, check me out for a personal reading. Now, for the month of June, I am going to go ahead and open up two weeks where I will do reading. That is the second week and the fourth week of the month. All right, it will be in the description box. So if you try to hit me up before then, you're reading, you'll get your reading during that week, all right, depending on what number you are. Um, I usually am not very busy or very, uh, yeah, not very busy. So at the most, it would probably be about 48 to, either 36 to 48 hours or 48 hours to 72 hours only because I am using a phone that is just crazy it takes me I don't know probably about an hour to upload a video anyways Scorps that is what I have for you thank you so much for checking me out and for supporting my channel sending so much love your way namaste